Okay. Ha, ha, play hello. with me, Lionel. Play with me. Mm, I'm reading. Well, read to me then. Okay. Ha. Cliffhanger hanging from my cliff. And that's Not why they call the cliff. old cliffhanger? We be something good. Like what? Uh, like, oh, like, oh, 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 like, like, like this. <laughs> you don't even know what that book's about. Well, I will when you read it to me. Ram in the Pepper Patch, written by Chili Ramirez. <clears throat> there was a gal not long ago who had some land in Mexico. She labored hard to raise a batch of peppers in a pepper patch. One morning, about half past eight, the girl came to her garden gate and saw as she undid the latch. A ram was in her pepper patch. She watched the ram, whose name was Sam, eat peppers by the kilogram. What's a kilogram? Uh, well, it's a lot of peppers. Uh, a little more than two pounds. She offered Sam a yam and ham. <laughs> but only peppers pleased that ram. A passing hen was certain that she knew a way to make ram scat. She cackled. Scratch, you ram! <laughs> and then that hen was never seen again. <laughs> a little dog yapped. Scram, you ram! Do I have to draw a diagram? He told that ram, Get out of here, sir! The dog was fierce. <laughs> the ram was fiercer. The hen had failed. So had the pup. But then a big bad bull walked up. The bull was strong, but the ram was stronger. He won't be seeing that bull much longer. Just then, a little bee buzzed by and told the girl she'd like to try. Mm -hmm. I'll send that nasty ram away. The ram said, that will be the day. No little bee will make me ramble, make me scamper, make me scramble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ram jumped up and ran away. I want my ma. I want my nanny. Someone stung me on the fanny. A little bee had saved the day. The end. Hey, hey, oh, hey, Chihuahua. That stung. Oh, I got one sore fanny. Mind if I stay here a while? I mean, just until the pain goes away. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I, uh... Oh, Lionel, the poor little ram. He has a pain in his fanny. Thanks. Gracias. I, ooh, maybe I'd better not sit. I just try to shake off this pain with a little run. Leona, huh? this doesn't look good. Oh, Lionel, you know what? You worry way too much. Whoa! Whoa! Well, that's got to hurt. Oops. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, Martha Reader and the Vowels are in the house singing the short A sound from their smash word, Er, er, ah, ra, ra, mmm, mmm, mm. ram, ram. Spram, ham, spram, you ham. Yeah. Don't you worry, Buster. Mm. We'll protect you from that. 
Uh, rampaging ham. Yeah, rampaging ham. See, we got mm. this sign here, and it says, uh... Scram ham. Uh, yeah, it's mm. cram ham. <laughs> ham? Yeah. No, there's a rampaging ram in the library, not a rampaging ham. Mm. The sign should say, scram ram. What? Oh. Ram, not ham? Are you sure, Buster? Yeah. I am positive. That's funny, because oh. I... Ah! 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 Okay, who's responsible for this? Clam! Ooh, yeah! Yeah, whoa! Oh, Cleo! Whoa, Cleo, my little meat dumpling. Oh. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, oh, let's get started. Oh. <laughs> right away, Theo, my wildebeest jerky. Mm. Oh. What's cooking mm. today is mm. slammed and rammed ham with no yam or clam. My favorite. <laughs> One. Get rid of the yam and clam. Goodbye, yam. Goodbye, clam. Two. <clears throat> Slam the ham. Mm. Ham. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Slammed. Oh, Theo, you are so big and strong, my love. Ooh, yeah. Ring. Ram the ham. All righty. Okay. Ram the ham. Four. The slammed and rammed ham for ten minutes. Only ten minutes? Well, that's what the recipe says. Well, maybe just this once we could... And now, once again, it's time for the adventures of Sam Spud, our boiled potato detective. The name is Spud, Sam Spud. I was working late one night. The neon sign outside my window was blinking bright, dark, bright, dark. It was about to drive me crazy when there was a knock at my door. The guy was a mess. His face looked like raw humburger. Humburger? That's not right. Not humburger. That U in hum should be an A, H, A, M, ham. And that A in burger should be a U, B, U, R, G, E, R, burger. His face looked like raw hamburger. As a matter of fact, it was raw hamburger. I could tell right away I was going to have to grill him. <laughs> the guy thanked me, threw some lettuce on my desk, and told me the rest would be gravy. Yeah. There's a talking potato on a stick with a hat on and no mouth. Don't worry, sweetie. It's educational television. It's good for you. Ham. Harm. Hark. Hark. Ark. Mark.
too much. We gotta get this ram back in the book. But how? This isn't gonna be easy. Oh, yes it will. You worry to... <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. Sl... 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 Am. Am. Sl... Am. Slam! And now it's time for... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word! Competing today we have Sir... Sol! <laughs> On your right, Sir M. Blend on, dudes. M. 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 That's Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, "See you next time on Gawain's Word." Gawain's Word. Ram. Ham. D. Had. S sad. And now the word doctor with Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Wertheimer <laughs> with another word that's tired of being what it is and wants to change. <laughs> So tell us, what's your story? Oh, I'm sad. Sad! Oh, can you help me, Dr. Ruth? Of course I can. But first, you must let go of that part of you that makes your ad sad. The letter S. That's right. Let it go. Oh, now I feel such a sense of loss. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. But now we will replace that sad S with a G and an L. And now you are... Glad! I'm glad! Oh, thank you, Dr. Ruth. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Who? I am good. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Tap your feet as Martha Reader and the Vowels sing their fantastic hit about the short A sound. When you see an A, I, I, crazy vowel. Chicken Jane write the letters. 
S C R A M. in the hamper. We are not in the hamper. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Chicken Jane. Jane. <laughs> look, look, see, see, going up the lane. There goes Scott, there goes Dot, there goes Chicken Jane. <laughs> Dr. Bertie's Berry with the A in ham. <laughs> with a short A, A sound in them. Meet Annie, Annie's Granny Tammy, Danny, Danny's Nanny Pammy, Sandy, Sandy's Bassett Dash, and this is Brandy. Meet Nancy, Alexandra Cabot, Clancy, Alexandra's Rabbit, Jack and Mac and Matt and Hannah, Zach and Jack and Pat and Vanna. Yeah, 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 what's your name? What's your name, what's your name, what's your name? Anything you say can and will be used against you. Law enforcement, it's one of my specialties. <laughs> Click, drag and drop that ram back into the book. Oh, no, I don't want to go back in the book. That bee will sting me on the fanny. No, oh, we can't make him go back in the book, Lionel. You can't make me go back in the book, Lionel. Oh, he's right. Well, you'll have to let him go, Click. Very well, if I must. Hey! Executing escape! Uh, well, okay. Well, I guess I'll be going. Yes, go! If you don't want to be the star of the story that millions of children from Mexico and all over the world have loved for generations, then go! That's fine. That's fine? Excuse me. Hi. I wondered if I could take out that wonderful book Ram in the Pepper Patch by oh. Chili Ramirez. <laughs> I just love that ram. Do you have it? <laughs> oh, well, I'm terribly sorry, but we only have this book. No ram in the Pepper Patch. No ram in the Pepper Patch? Mm hmm. Could I take a look at it? Of course. Help yourself. No ram in the Pepper Patch. There was a gal not long ago who had some land in Mexico. She labored hard to raise a batch of peppers in a pepper patch. One morning about half past eight, the girl came to her garden gate and saw as she undid the latch, no ram was in her pepper patch. The hen and bull and dog just sat. There was no ram and that was that. I am one very poor 
chic and think how bored someone reading this story is going to be. The end? Oh, what a rip-off. I mean, it, there's no story here. Nothing happens. It's just a picture of a pepper patch. I, I, I'm sorry, but without the ram in it, this, uh, this book stinks. Whoa. Guess he was kind of disappointed, huh? Well, who wouldn't be? It's a shame, really. Just think of all your other fans. Oh, yeah! Just think! Just think! What will I do without the ram? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I'm so unhappy! Oh. Caramba! I cannot disappoint my public. I'm going back in. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, Fanny. We've got a story to tell. What? Yeah. Yeah. The man came back. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see, I told you be easy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. I hope this whole story ram episode will be a lesson to all characters from books. Stay in your stories where you belong. <laughs> And hams and other food should stay in the refrigerator, where they belong. <laughs> Ugh, ham. Between the Lions! There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. pbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Reading to children isn't just fun, it also helps them do better in school. Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Whoa! Okay, Daddy, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 